We had made our way out of La Paz and into the realm of nearby islands. We explored, met up with other cruisers, cooked, and generally enjoyed. From the northern end of Isla Partida, we hoped to go for a swim with the famous sea lions, but the wind was a little stronger than we hoped for that activity. Robbie settled with catching some fish instead. No, it's pretty small. I can pull it up. them in the water they bleed a lot better. We said maybe next time to the Islotes and traveled towards our next anchorage, the back door of Caleta Partida, gawking at rock formations as the wind came and went along the way. We jumped in to have a look. I'm very pleased with my yard sale find in Sausalito of a decent pair of flippers, but was borrowing a fellow sailor's dive mask for the time being. We spotted, as usual, a lot of mullet fish, but with the Bonito on board already, Robbie didn't even bother taking a shot with the spear gun. He did, however, use some of the belly bait on a hook off the side of our boat, only to pull in a puffer fish. Kind of cute, huh? They're very cute with their big eyes and they. They look like cartoons. Eager to see as many sea creatures as possible, we were off again. We stopped in the most sheltered spot from southerly winds that we could find, with a bottom that looked sandy on the depth sounder. In Asia, they have a very really colorful claw. These are wave girls, or. This salt flat location had a population of goats frolicking on the beach when we arrived. We tracked them to see how close we could approach. It was easy enough, we just followed their footsteps. Of course, beachcombing wouldn't be complete without poking and prodding the dead stuff. This included still oily whale bones. It's oily and it smells weird. Put it back together, right? We met with the creatures in the underwater community that were starting to become familiar faces. Puffer fish, purpley blue reef fish that defend their spots aggressively, and the bigger, less common fish that seem to hide more than others, probably used to the presence of predators with spear guns. Despite the murk and the gloom, Robbie managed to hit his target. 
This grouper hid under a rock after being speared and had to be untangled and dug out. At Playa Bonanza, we saw a multitude of rays, which wasn't surprising along this giant white sandy beach. After a snack of solar baked bread, we went to say hello to the colorful creatures. We later figured out that the northern end of the bay might have housed even more coral and sea life, but even so, there was much to see here. We cooked up our dinner and headed back to the city. We were back in civilization, there was no doubt about it, with the sounds of the city. Actually, this much honking wasn't usual. It was the preferred football team that won the match this evening that caused all the ruckus. Celebrations went way on into the night, adults and children riding up and down the Malacan, honking their horns. We had come back to La Paz to get Robbie on a bus for Puerto San Carlos. Our friend Scott had arrived in Magdalena Bay after traveling solo with our old boat My Way from San Francisco. He was hoping to have a little company for the final overnight passage to Cabo San Lucas. I walked several blocks with Robbie and his fishing gear to the local bus station, then said goodbye and hoped for the best. Got the boat to myself for about a week, if all goes according to plan. I should have time to do a couple of little aesthetic projects and finish some movies. The one nice thing about not sharing the boat for the week will be to have all this room. All this room is mine right now. No, I'm just joking. I already miss you, Robbie. Come back. Yeah, it's looking kind of gunky in the water. Not really inspiring for taking a swim right now. And it might have something, or may not have something, to do with uh, the red tide I heard on the net this morning. The cruisers in the area were talking about a red tide. I'm not going to eat anything out of the water, certainly, for the next little bit. Caught you. You're the one. You're the one who shat on the deck. Yes, I worked on those projects, but mostly just seemed to stare at reflections of water on our cabin ceiling for a week. Meanwhile, 
my husband and Scott were having a great time on Little My Way. Sorry, recording, like, a little something shuts off. Coast ceilings, leaving Magdalena Bay. And Gray, we got uh, two fishing lines out. Hopefully, we want to get a big mud on one of them. We catch two big tuna, they stop our boat, like guaranteed. Land ho! Seven miles from out in Cabo, and uh, we had uh, the shittiest night on my way ever. I mean, we were flying along beautifully, and we got hit by a I don't know what to call it a fucking rogue wave, and it actually snapped our rudder off. So we were left bobbing like a cork, and yeah, so we fashioned this homemade rudder. We got a dual rudder on the board. Look at Scott, Scott looks like shit. Not only were we bobbing like forks, I was puking like a dog. A little hillbilly ingenuity and a DeWalt drill and some wood screws. I'm so lucky your batteries were charged on that drill. Cut my V-Bird uh, support in half and managed to get it on there, you know? And yeah, we screwed it and stitched it. We just uh, stitched it with this super high high strength mono and it seems to be holding it held through the rest of the night we uh, fashioned a sea anchor out of a 35 pound Danforth and about 80 feet of 3 8 chain and almost 100 feet of rope probably about 100 feet of rope and just kind of it worked really well huh? we, we, we were doing like we're doing like 0.1 of a knot in, in the in the direction in the right direction Fucking we got anchor in the cockpit yeah, still. Like shit Salt water hit the panel. I mean, we got tools, we got wood chips, screws. Everything's just freaking everywhere. I'm in here boiling water. I yeah, I well, found a kettle on the opposite side of the Luckily, it wasn't boiling hot because all of a sudden I heard this heinous crack and. Uh, and I look up just to see a wall of water hit Robbie. And then a wall of water come in and hit me and I flew from one side of the boat to the other and just, yeah, thank God both of us were all right. We didn't like hit our heads seriously or none of us are bleeding out of our ears or anything, but it was a, it was a stressful night to say the least. Thought about getting an emergency uh, rudder made in LA by these guys and they wanted like, way too much money so I said no I'm not gonna do it but I think I would have uh, I would have easily justified spending like a thousand dollars on a new rudder last night and we finally got it off we lifted the rudder into the boat we had surgery operation went well sewed it all back together we just passed out in the left the sea anchor and just slept for I don't know a couple hours or whatever but we're up today, we're trying to just get there and uh, get tied up to a slip so we can probably both take a uh, much needed siesta shower. shower. It's a wonderful day of sailing though, we were flying last night. Oh yeah, we had speeds of over 11 knots. Uh, sustained. Sustained. Um, wing on wing with the spinnaker pull out. So we pulled a little bit of head sail out but we're getting a bit of weather helm. And a lot. We just rounded. We had a pretty serious round up there where we just got completely sideways to the waves. And we're not really trying to push it too hard on this tiller because uh, it's all we got. And you know, if this thing breaks now, we are we got real thick spread of shit on our toes. Hugging the coast, doing social experiment. Yeah. Ah. What might we need? 
She needs at least one pint of blood per week in order to stay happy. The guys were met by many rays and good times in Cabo San Lucas. It was described to me that on the day passage to Los Frailes, many large fish were captured. The trip to Los Muertos was also a fishing frenzy, and I was not there to slow down the slaughter. Ensenada de los Muertos. What have we done? We're a mistake of ordering the fish made by them and we ordered a plate of nachos which is stuffed ourselves first. So basically we caught this fish and we asked them to cook it, but not before we had to order a big plate of chicken nachos. <laughs> Bit off a little more we can chew with this one. Robinson spearfishing catch. Half of it. We got some fish sticks. Do you like fish sticks? No, I don't like fish sticks. Uh, so you're not a gay fish then? Yeah. For five bucks you come in here and they'll uh, they'll cook your catch for you. After much worrying and waiting, they made it to La Paz. Recognize you. What's up? <laughs> you arrived just in time. Both little boats were finally side by side again in their tropical home. By pressing like and subscribe, you inspire us to make more movies. By leaving a tip or becoming a patron, you help fund more movie making projects. A huge thank you to all our supporters.